The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some said, You see, those who say that there is no resurrection approached Jesus and they put a question to him. Jesus replied, The children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead do not marry because they can no longer die, for they are the same as the angels, and being children of the resurrection, they are sons of God. And Moses himself implies that the dead rise again. In the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him, all men are in fact alive. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, how many of you here can say that they have never suffered before? And how many of you here can say that they have never suffered before? If you say you can ne have never suffered before, means you are bluffing, you know. Because I believe every one of us has suffered in one way or another. Whether big suffering, small suffering, medium suffering, we have suffered in one way or another. Even as a baby, uh, even as a baby, don't talk about baby, la, uh, even in the womb or so, you have suffered in one way or another. Even your mother, when she was carrying you uh, for nine months, just imagine the amount of suffering that she had to go through. You know. uh, yo, yo. Uh, if you know how much uh, the woman has to go through to carry a baby for nine months, uh, I think uh, many of you will think twice before getting married. You know. But it is part and parcel of life. Each and every one of us go through one form of suffering in one way or another. From the womb, from baby, from a child, toddler, up to even old age also as well. We go through some form of suffering. So if we go through some form of suffering, then we will be wondering, you know, why are we suffering? Uh? Uh, is God very bad to us? Uh? Is God treating us this way? Uh? Is God punishing us for something? Uh? You know, some people have got this kind of mentality, you know. Uh, just because uh, they are suffering a little bit, little bit or so, uh, they think that God is uh, punishing them, you know. But the thing is, my dear friends, suffering is part of life. We have to go through it in order to us to grow. For example, when you are a baby, uh, when you are a baby, you want to start eating, right? Uh, you can't be depending on milk for the rest of your life, ma. You want to start eating, uh, your teeth must come out, ma. If your teeth must come out, sure pain one. Uh, you, ask, you look at the babies uh, when they are having their teeth coming out for the first few times. Uh, oh, yo, cry like anything, oh, or make a lot of noise like anything. Oh. Just imagine that a baby already has experienced some sort of suffering when it is going through the growing pains, uh, so to speak. Even for us also as well, uh, when we were learning to walk, uh, learning to walk at that time, I don't think anybody uh, from crawling uh, straight away can walk already, can I? Uh? No. Each and every one of us uh, even go through suffering when you're trying to walk. Uh, first few steps fall, uh, injure the knee, la, this, la, that. La. But we still go through some form of difficulty and suffering before we can learn to walk. When we are going to school, we also go through some form of suffering. We have to study, you know. You know, some people, they study like mad. Huh? I know that many of us uh, are going to have SPM and STPM soon, you know. Wow, very worried. Oh, how uh, so, many, uh, to th so many things to remember, uh, whether can remember or not. We go through some form of suffering when we are in school. And later in life also as well, we go through some form of suffering. Some of us, have the suffering of heartache. Huh? At first, uh, got girlfriend, boyfriend, okay. La. Then suddenly, the girlfriend, boyfriend split. Huh? Ayo, very painful. Oh. Huh? We go through 
some form of suffering also as well. So all this suffering uh, makes us wonder, you know, why do we go through it? Uh? Is it because of something we have done wrong? Is it because of the you know, past sins or something like that? And then, some of us also have got this idea, you know, this mentality that good people uh, won't suffer, bad people, uh, they suffer, you know. But how come uh, to this first reading, uh, those seven brothers are good people, you know, how come they suffer? Uh? Why, uh, why is God so like that? Uh? Why God made the people like that so suffering like that? Uh? We wonder, you know. We wonder, you know. And throughout the ages, uh, people have been trying to find out, people have been trying to explain away uh, why people suffer. And there's no good answer. There's no good answer. We do not have a good answer. Precisely because suffering is a mystery. Suffering is a mystery. Suffering is a mystery for each and every one of us, just as God is a mystery. We cannot fully understand. We cannot fully explain. Slowly, gradually, we may get some idea of why it happens. But the thing, the beauty about it is that despite all our sufferings, uh, despite all the challenges that we go through, despite all the difficulties that we go through, uh, God is there guiding us. God is there to help us. We may not experience him, him, we may not experience him straight away. We may not see him, but God is there. The question is, my dear friends, when we are going through all this suffering, what do we do? What do we do? Do we trust in the Lord? Do we let the Lord guide us? Do we let the Lord take control? Or do we try to do things on our own? You know, sometimes uh, some people, when they suffer, little bit, little bit suffer, wah, straight away go to look for what, you know, feng shui la, bo mo la, this la, that la. Why? Why you need to go through all this kind of thing? Don't you trust God enough? Do you not trust that God has a plan for us? In today's Mass, uh, if we find that we have been lacking trust in God, if we find that God seems to be distant from us, if we feel as if God uh, doesn't care about us, uh, let us remember that God is not the, gay, the God of the dead, but God of the living. For to Him, all men are in fact alive. This means that God is always there. He's always there. Let us not doubt any longer. Let us not abandon Him. Let us not dismiss His being because He is there. He will help us in His time, in His place. So in today's Mass, if we find that we have been neglecting Him, if we find that we have been avoiding Him, if we find that we have been trying to find other ways to alleviate our suffering, let us remember God can help us if we are willing to let Him take control. Many things in this life uh, cannot be controlled by us. You know. We want control. We want to take care of things. But it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes uh, it is best to let God take over. Because when God let, takes over, He enables us to experience or to go through something which is better than what we expect. So into this Mass, let us not doubt the Lord any longer. He is there. He is inviting you. Trust in Him. Do not give up. Do not despair. The Lord will help us.